guys, I'm going to upload this. I know it's kind of late when I'm uploading. I had a really busy day today. Forgive like all of this. My face is clean. I did not put makeup on. Uh... <laughs> Welcome back to Cassidy Notary. My name is Kayla and for helpful tip Mondays, I want to actually talk about something that is going to correlate with my other video, which talks about the mistakes that I have made in my first month of being a signing agent. So for today's tips and tricks, I really just want to hone in on the fact that when you are signing something, especially for uh, a company, if you're not signing direct yet, which if you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure you're not signing direct, but if you are good on you. I wish I was. So I'm still signing for signing services. Um, I have had one direct signing, but the company was based in Florida, so I still had to overnight my my loan document back to the company. For the most part, every single signing that I have had has used FedEx. I don't know if it's a preference of theirs to use FedEx or FedEx is cheaper. I don't know what that's about, but the point is my last signing that I had, I did not look at the actual package slip. And the reason I didn't is because I read all of the instructions that come with it. So when you get a signing, when you open it up, the first thing that you're gonna see is like a big stop sign or something that says, you know, for notary or whatever. And it's gonna be your instructions. Somewhere in those instructions, it's gonna say, please ship back via, and it'll either say UPS or FedEx. So when I read this, what I saw was ship back via FedEx. And that's exactly what it said. I knew I was not crazy. So I went ahead, pulled the label out, folded it up, stuffed it in the package envelope, you know, in the, in the packaging, stuck it on the envelope and went about my way. Once the signing was complete and I had notarized everything, I, you know, went online, said this is completed, called them to confirm, hey, everything is good to go. I'm about to ship this out. They're like, good. Now, when I got to FedEx, okay, actually I asked my mom to drop it off because she was headed in that direction and I had to go do something else. So I said, mom, can you just drop this off at a FedEx shipping center? I need it to physically go in and drop it off to get the receipt back because it gives a new tracking number. She said, okay, that's fine. She took it to FedEx and they went to go scan it and they're like, we can't send this. This is not ours. This is a, a UPS label. And I was like, what? And so she called me and she was like, hey, did you know that this is a UPS label? You need to pay attention to this. I was like, what are you talking about? There's no way this is a UPS label. Their instructions specifically said ship via FedEx. So I would not have thought to look at the label itself because their instructions said FedEx. So she said, well, no worries. There's one that's like not even a mile from here. I'm gonna go in there. They're still open. She was able to change everything out and it was perfectly fine and it still got shipped. So my tips and tricks for today, guys, yes, read the instructions for all of your signings, no matter who you get them from, but always make sure you read that package label. When you get it, make sure it says either UPS or FedEx. It is gonna save you so much time. I had UPS packaging at my house. But again, I only read the instructions. I did not confirm with the package label and that was a mistake on my end. It took extra time out of my mom's day that she should not have had to have taken, like it should have been an easy drop if I would have just paid attention. So again, when you are doing this, please ensure that yes, read the instructions, make sure that you're following them to a T, but also read the package label. When you get it, don't just assume that it goes to FedEx or UPS. Even if it's for the same company, yes, the same company tends to use the same packaging, but on the off chance that they don't and they switch it up for whatever reason, just make sure you are doing the right thing because you don't wanna be in a situation where it's time sensitive, which most of them are, and you go to drop it off at the last minute because it's the end of the business day and they're like, oh, this isn't the right company and now you have to go find another one and they may be closed by then. Now you have to call the title company and let them know what's going on. And it could kind of leave a bad mark on you. So I hope that this was super helpful for you guys. Please make sure that you're reading everything and pay attention to detail. Detail, detail, detail is the biggest thing. Um, so again, I hope this was great for you. Sorry, my little one's in the back. Do you see her? I told her she'd be quiet. 
Um, so I hope that this was helpful for you guys. I will see you guys in my next video. And I hope that you get all the signings that you're looking for this week and then some. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe.